He knew somebody was trying to set him up. His friends warned him about it, but he wouldn't listen. Every night, he'd uh, swim across the lagoon, stand outside her window, the hot air burning up everything in sight. Chapter 10, fire. Exposure to excessive heat can result in a life-threatening emergency. A heat emergency occurs when the body is not cooled effectively. What did he find there? He's saying this heat. Here's a practice. You want to take a break? No, I'm all right. Hey, you really ought to take a break. It's getting awful hot in here. Uh, I want to get this done. I'm not really thirsty. OK. I'll be back in 10. All right. Someone physically active and wearing heavy clothing in a hot, humid environment is particularly prone to a heat emergency. Heat exhaustion is the most common type of heat emergency. If not cared for, it can lead to a life-threatening emergency called heat stroke. Some signs and symptoms of heat exhaustion include heavy sweating, cool, pale, moist skin, nausea, weakness, and dizziness. R.D. R.D., what's the matter? Come on, we gotta get you out of here. Easy, easy, take it easy. Easy. Come on, over here. All right, just lay back. Take it easy. Loosen these clothes, huh? All right. Just, no. Okay, just try to help me. Don't get up. Don't get up. No, it's okay. To help someone suffering from heat exhaustion, immediately remove the victim from the hot environment. That's, that's it. Loosen or remove clothing. Just lay back. I'll do it. You stay here. Then cool the victim. Apply cold packs or cool wet towels. We're gonna have some wet towels. It's gonna be cold at first, but you're gonna feel better. Here we go. Stay back. Okay. Here we go. It's cold, I know. Okay, I'm gonna put your feet up. Care for shock. What happened? It's all right, champ. Just overdid it. Got a little too hot. Monitor the vital signs. Call EMS. Reassure the victim until medical professionals arrive and take over. <laughs> 